Hey there, we're having fun. Brad and Dan enjoying CES. Uh, you can you can check out like all of the crazy stuff that because you've got just just a few, just a few things on the show. Yeah, we uh, we have a thing going on with Sleep Number, and we have a thing going on with Ford this week. So uh, come by and put on a headset. Awesome. Enjoy CES. All right. We've got Spaces and Hollow Gate. We're he- hanging out here at Vibe. Do okay. you see some stuff you like? Uh, well, I haven't tried it yet, but it's always my private birth- birthday party here, right? I love this yeah. room. <laughs> like, there's, there's awesome things. We haven't tried them, but they're totally going to be awesome. Yeah. Hey, Brad, is that you, EJ? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where's it coming from? HTC announced their new headset, the Cosmos, that appears to be a modular design that can connect to both desktops, mobile devices of some sort, as well as supports its own inside-out tracking. We look forward to checking out some demos of this in the future. Sands, Eureka Hall, the the basement of CES, if you will. Uh, you never quite know what you're going to find down here. Um, sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's interesting, sometimes it's why did you build that? But it is one of my favorite parts of CES. Checking out uh, Letin AR. Letin AR. Camera's trying to find me. So the depth of field are extended, like in home. That is very, very impressive. There we go. So your new uh, patching, uh, not new patching, but like the oh, that's good. the SAS mm-hmm. rack, that's really good. Thank what, you. What's the time frame on that? Uh, on, on the Drinks Beyond launch? Yes. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of yeah. launch, retail beyond launch. commercial. Stereo camera, all those high light software lights. So, better looking would be one thirty. It is one thirty. This one is monochrome. Nice. Nice. right now. It's the X-Tall VR headset. I wish I knew why every of the like 5K ultra wide headsets made my head cross-eyed and owie, but they still do. Super wide field of view, and that's cool, but like ow. So just for Anthony, it is the world's first automated indoor dog toilet. One, two, close it, heads up in a bag, come back, Goes into the, like the little bagging system here. Alright, so hit play on the designer. There's me wearing the suit. Hi. No, not temperature, tempered. What do you mean? In LA, uh, it's available at Freestyle. He thinks that take 10 pictures is the best research, and then you just
It's not CES without an unlicensed lightsaber fight. I had a chance to check up with the team Lightform. They make a really impressive projection mapping system that I'm an early backer of and looking forward to getting soon. I had a chance to actually see their software in person as well as the device that should be arriving on my doorstep uh, shortly. It really lets you leverage projection mapping in a whole new way to consume it. I am here with the legendary Bob Goonie. Oh, fuck, that's the, the coolest little camera. I did, so Platformer VR. Um, I did a, a quick demo of it at IAPA in, our, in November. And uh, you know, it's really good. I like the long form, the long form stuff. Three days of CES 2019 in the books. Two more days to go, lots of stuff to check out, from Intel's booth to the Central Hall, the North Hall, kind of a ton of stuff you still yet to see, a whole lot more meetings to take, and uh, a lot of more cool VR to see. So stay tuned, I guess. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Brad, live from CES. I don't know if we should call this a show at this point, um, but it is what it is. And hopefully you're finding it entertaining, or at least watching here to the end, where we have, you know, like a hidden post credit scene. So stay tuned at the end, because, you know, there's a, there's a hidden scene. Alright, hi, it's Brad. It's like 10 or 11 at night. It's Vegas, so you can't really do Vegas without like a gigantic, you know, like a yard of margarita hurricane kind of thing. Made by my dear friend, Wesley. So Wesley, uh, who is indeed not an ensign on the Starship Enterprise, he's just a regular Wesley, and, and has done a wonderful job mixing this drink. And uh, here at Paris slash Bally's, after doing some more VR fun, I needed a nice stiff drink. Huzzah. Have fun.